quick revision video on calculating an enthalpy change using enthalpy changes of combustion. I'm going to take a vector approach to this one. So I've done a few of these kinds of videos already where you use enthalpy changes of combustion but not with a vector approach. So just in case you wanted to see an alternative method to this. So vector approach to Hess's law. If we've got this Hess's law cycle here with those three processes in. If you wanted to calculate the enthalpy change for reaction one, so that's A through to B. So Hess's law says, it doesn't matter which route you take, as long as you start and finish at the same point, then the overall enthalpy change will be the same. So the two routes would be A to B, so that's the one we want. Another way to do that is go A to C, then to B. And you can see that in the red route, all the arrows are pointing in the direction of the route. So all we need to do, therefore, is add those two enthalpy changes together. So delta H1 would equal the sum of delta H2 and 3. So we take the arrows away now and ask ourselves, what if we had to calculate delta H2? So that's A to C. So that would be one route. Another way to get from A to C is to go to B. And then B to C. So if we look at this route here, the this arrow here is going in the correct direction, so that's fine. This one here is going in the wrong direction, so all we do is we subtract that one. So it would be delta H1 minus delta H3. So the final one is delta H3, so we want to go C to B. So now we need to go from C to A, then A to B. So the route's that way. So you can see this arrow's okay, it's going in the correct direction of the route, but this one's going in the wrong direction, so we're going to subtract this delta H2. So the easiest way to write that is delta H1 minus delta H2. So all we're going to do now is apply this method to a question. So we've got to calculate the enthalpy change of formation of pentane, given the enthalpies of combustion. So that's the reaction we need to calculate the enthalpy change for. And the cycle is created by drawing what we call a combustion cycle, because we're using enthalpies of combustion. So basically, if you combust everything in this equation, you're going to make CO2 and water. So we need to combust the reactants. 5 times minus 393, so 5 times this value here, because this is kilojoules per mole. We've got 5 moles of carbon in the cycle, and it's combustion of 6 moles of H2. 6 times minus 286, so that's a total of minus 3681. So that's the combustion of the reactants. And down this side, we need to combust the product. I've said products there because sometimes you do have more than one product. So combustion of the product, so combustion of one mole of C5H12 will make CO2 and water, and that's going to have an enthalpy change of minus 3509. So that is one mole. So we'll apply the vector approach now. So there's one root, that's the one we want, the delta H unknown. And the other root is going that way. And you can see straight away, this arrow is going in the wrong direction of the red root. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the sum of the enthalpy changes of combustion of the reactants. We're going to subtract from that the enthalpy change of combustion of the product. So plugging the numbers in, we get an enthalpy change for this reaction here. So that's the enthalpy change of formation of pentane at minus 172 kilojoules per mole. 